We're only one day away from the RTX 30 series reveal event and leaks are flooding all over the internet. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So recent leaked RTX 30 series images from Asus, Gigabyte, Zotac, and Gainward are confirming even more information about these cards. So let's go ahead and take a look over at videocards.com where I got all of these images. A link will be in the description below as always. And let's discuss the things I do and don't like about these cards as well as what it all means. So starting from least interesting to most interesting, first we have Gigabyte, where over on Twitter they posted a little video which has a timeline going from 1999 to 2020, and at the very end at 2020 they show what is presumably an RTX 3090 series graphics card, and it looks like it's a triple fan design, but we really don't see any more information on that. So it looks like Gigabyte somewhere near launch is going to have a triple fan design ready, and it looks pretty big. Now moving on to those leaked Zotac images, and here's where things start to get a little bit more interesting. We get a bit more information here, and we can see that most of these cards are triple slot designs, and they have three fans, so these are humongous cards. And if we take a look here, even at most of the big triple slot three fan design ones, it looks like they are going to be using what presumably is two 8-pin power plugs. However, what I find interesting is there was one image that was shown in the comments below on the video cards article where someone found an image of one of the triple slot three fan design cards that appears to have three eight pin connectors. So this card is presumably an RTX 3090. And honestly, if I was gonna buy an RTX 3090, I'd probably be looking for something like this because I'm really into overclocking video cards. So I'd want something that can for sure handle enough power to get a substantial overclock out of it. Now saying that I really wouldn't be going out and buying an RTX 3090 because those prices look absolutely obnoxious. I mean, no no way am I going to be spending over $1,000 on a graphics card. It's just not happening. These are just games, okay? I, I'm not doing any type of workload that requires 24 gigabytes of VRAM. I'm okay spending a little bit less money. Now moving on, we have what Video Cards claims to be an ROG Strix RTX 3090, and it certainly looks like one. And the thing I found interesting about this card is not only is it another giant three-fan design that appears to be at least two and a half slots, because Wow, that looks really thick, but on top of that, it appears to be the exact same design of that leaked RTX 3080 Ti that was going around the internet earlier, and so it looks like that was just some sort of design phase they were in, and they didn't know whether it was going to be called the RTX 3090 or RTX 3080 Ti, because there's no RTX 3080 Ti in sight, but there are plenty of 3090 images going around. And finally, the most interesting images surprisingly come from Gainward. Now, this is a company I haven't heard much about, and while the images themselves are aren't really that surprising, it's just another enormous 3-fan design cooler that's going to be the same on both the RTX 3080 as well as the RTX 3090. What did surprise me is that they accidentally leaked the full specs for the RTX 3090 and RTX 3080, and it's exactly what you were expecting. So looking over here at the leaked page here, we can see that the RTX 3080 is for sure going to have 4,352 CUDA cores on a 7 nanometer process technology. I'm assuming assuming it's Samsung, because if it was TSMC's 7 nanometer, I think that we would be having slightly more efficient GPUs, but who knows, we'll just have to wait and find out for sure. It's going to have a boost clock of 1710 megahertz like was leaked earlier, and then it will have a 320 watt TGP, and it will have 10 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory clocked at 9,500 megahertz, otherwise known as 19 gigabits per second. And then as for the memory bus, it's going to be a 320 bit bus, and of course that gives you total memory bandwidth of 760 gigabytes per second. So all of that looks pretty much identical to what was leaked earlier. Now they do have what they call a GS model or a golden sample model where there is a slight overclock. Pretty much everything here is the exact same including the memory except the boost clock is 30 megahertz higher. So not really that impressive but you know if you're someone into overclocking I guess going for the golden sample version would be the way to go. Now moving on to the leaked RTX 3090 page here we we can see that it has the exact specs that were leaked earlier from videocards.com. It's on a 7 nanometer process technology. It has a boost clock of 1695 megahertz, 
5,248 CUDA cores and a max TGP of 350 watts. Now, as for the memory system, it will have that massive 24 gigabytes with a memory clock of 9,750 megahertz, otherwise known as 19.5 gigabits per second. And that is gonna be on a 384 bit bus, which will give you a total of 936 gigabytes per second. So all of that does seem to match up with those leaks that came from video cards earlier this week. Now moving on, they do have a golden sample version of the RTX 3090 where, again, everything is identical except the boost clock this time around has another 30 megahertz bump. So once again, it looks like if you are into overclocking, I suppose getting the golden sample might be worth it. So overall, it looks like all the leaks were true. And on top of that, these cards are going to be massive from every single supplier. It looks like we're looking at pretty much all completely triple slot designs with three fans. So pretty much anyone you get this card from is going to have an absolutely massive cooler that should be capable of cooling this card. And one other thing I want to mention before we get to the end of this video here is that it looks like none of these cards have active cooling on the back. And it seems like the newer leaks are suggesting that there is not any form of extra processor on the back. So that whole, um, they were calling it a transversal coprocessor, I believe. That whole leak that was going around the internet, there's going to be one on the back. And that leaked back of that PCB where it seemed like someone was covering one up. Well, I was always a little bit skeptical of that, and it seems like that is very, very, very unlikely at this point. In fact, I would, I'm just going to go ahead and call it out right now and say there's no way that's going to happen. The RT cores are going to be on the GPU on the front once again. So, unfortunately, that leak wasn't true, but that doesn't mean that the leakers who put that out were wrong about all the other stuff they leaked. It's just sometimes when people are feeding you stuff, it could be in a design phase where they believe that's what they're going to do, and then it turns out it doesn't really end up happening. And you know, from the beginning, it did seem a little strange to be taking another part of your GPU and putting it on the back because that it just seems to make things a whole lot more complicated. So yeah, it looks like that's not happening. But in any case, these cards do all look very, very impressive. And honestly, I'm looking forward to seeing some more designs leaking out from maybe MSI and some other big partners that always put out very interesting and thick cards. But one thing's for sure, I'm gonna be trying to get my hands on one that has three eight pins if possible. Oh, and of course, there's one more thing I wanna mention before I get out of here, and that's that I'm gonna be streaming the launch event tomorrow at 9 a.m. Actually, it'll be starting at 8.45 a.m. Pacific time. So if you can make it, be sure to get there because not only is it the launch event for the RTX 30 series card supposedly, but on top of that, I'm about to hit 20,000 subscribers. So it's gonna be kind of two milestones happening at once. I think it'll be a really interesting stream and I haven't done it in a while. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. So be sure to go and meet me there and I'll see you tomorrow. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about these leaked designs? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.